Hey there guys, Mac Chunky here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless Gaming Mouse. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's see what we got in the box here. Now something I wanna mention, I've been very skeptical of Razer's products. And I have reason for that. I've had a lot of Razer products fail on me in the past, and it seems to me a lot of the time that Razer's products don't hold up to the test of time. I've had many Razer mice. The only one that I actually really enjoyed was the Razer Death Adder Chroma from 2017, 2016. Really old mouse and a really good mouse. Then I got the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition, which actually failed very shortly after I got it, and the sensor on that mouse is notoriously terrible. Then, I got the Razer Viper, the wired version, and it also failed on me fairly quickly. Now we have this one, the wireless version, and I got it at Best Buy, and I actually, this is one of the first times I've purchased a extended warranty, a two-year warranty, because I'm not entirely confident in this mouse's or in, this, in, in Razer products in general, unfortunately. But I'm willing to give this one a try, and I'm going to give it a more critical review, a more honest review. I'm not a fanboy, so I'm gonna give you my complete opinion. I do like how the uh, USB dongle is stored in the bottom. The current mouse I have is the SteelSeries, I believe it's the wireless 610 or 650, I believe it's called, and the uh, USB dongle does not store in the mouse. So I actually really like this. Let's go ahead and get into the box here. It also has a wireless charge dock, which is awesome. And one of the reasons I'm thinking of, or one of the reasons I bought this. And um, the reason I am buying this is because I'm sort of getting really into having a clear desk. I'm trying to go wireless everything, except for wireless audio, of course. I believe that wired audio with a nice amp is the way to go for gaming. I like how it has a little USB cover. That's nice, I like that. Anything else in the box here? Nothing else in the box. Overall, the packaging is really nice. I also like this magnetic clasp. That is really nice, I like that. Let's go ahead and move the packaging off to the side. And uh, oh, we're gonna keep that. That's the little clip on the bottom there. So that actually stays. That actually stays on there somehow. There we go. I also really like the ultralight mice. Let's see, does this have a wrap on it? It does. Awesome. So the mouse just kind of sits on there. And it has a, a very slight but noticeable magnet, like sort of like a magnetization there. Magnetize, it gets stuck towards it. Pretty easy to put on me, have it set down. If I had it set down, See how easy it is to drop on there? There we go. It'll take some getting used to, but there we go. It's a little bit lower than I thought, so there. Overall, that's really nice. Unfortunately, the cord is micro USB, but this doesn't matter too much because since it's a wireless dock, all I have to do really is plug the dock in and then just kind of forget about it. If I have a little dock I can just plop the mouse onto, then it really doesn't matter. I also like that it has a USB pass-through. So that is going to be really nice because it seems like I could just drop the dongle into the USB pass-through and just forget about it. Now, and now I have a USB pass-through, so I'm not losing a USB port. That's awesome. It almost seems like that's how it's meant to go. So then you can just have the USB dongle in there for the mouse and then just boom, set it up perfectly. I really like the design and uh, execution of this so far. This is also like that really grippy type of rubber. Like if I put this on the desk, <laughs> I can really shake the camera around. I don't know. It's probably showing up. I have like stabilization, but this should be showing up. I can really shake the camera around. It's like a really grippy, I don't know. Here, let's see. I can hold it like kind of vertically. It doesn't really fall. It only falls over its own weight. It doesn't slide. That's pretty nice. Overall, that's about it for the unboxing here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump onto the computer and we are going to uh, get it all set up. So I'll probably 
plug it in, get it all set up here, show you guys a little camera feed of how it looks in the uh, in the setup, and then we'll go ahead and jump onto the computer, and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, we're in the room now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I have it set up here. As you can see, going with my purple theme, I have the mouse set to purple right here, just kind of blending into the mouse pad. And of course, the charging dock, which I've put on top of my RGB cube. But as you can see, the dock also has its own light on it. Just have it sitting up there. When you take the mouse and throw it on, you're gonna notice, once it gets situated on there, how it's gonna display on the mouse as well as the dock, the battery percentage, and it's going to breathe like this, just fading in and out. And it's gonna do this until it gets full and it will be static green when it's full. So that's really cool. Um, it's kind of hard to see on the dock, but the dock is also flashing the same color as the mouse. So now we're gonna go ahead and hop into the computer and we're gonna take a look at the software. All right, guys, we are now on the computer in the software. As you can see, I have quite a few other Razer devices at the Razer Huntsman and the uh, Razer charging pad chroma. I'm just all about purple, so I just buy these things and change them purple. But as you can see, the uh, the Razer mouse dock and the Razer Viper both show up as individual items to edit. So you can customize the color, brightness, and effect here for the dock and make it completely separate from the Razer Viper itself, um, which could be, I guess, uh, useful for some people, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm assuming a lot of people are going to rather have the mouse and the dock synced up. Now, in the mouse here, in the mouse settings, this is very similar to all other uh, Razer mice, how you can program what each and every single button does and add and um, delete macros. You can also change the mouse from right-handed to left-handed. That'll switch the uh, uh, right-click and left-click around for you, so that way you can uh, have an easier experience there. And... Um, in performance, you can also set your different sensitivity stages. And this mouse will also save up to five different profiles, um, including lighting and sensitivity, as you see here. I'm actually going to go ahead and change this to 900. I'm a weirdo. Play it uh, 900 DPI. And I'm going to turn off sensitivity stages. Um, let me change the. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Whoa. <laughs> okay, DPI 900. Um, and then I'm just going to turn off sensitivity stages. I always stay um, at the same sensitivity rate. Um, polling rate here up to 1,000. Obviously, that's enabled by default. You're going to always want to keep this at 1,000 for the lowest latency possible. Um, and then in lighting here, you have to go into static here, and you can, and then you can see your different um, uh, devices here. Audio meter probably won't do too much on the mouse. Breathing, reactive. Reactive will change when you click you guys probably already know all this stuff i have mine set to static and purple just to keep it simple um, in calibration you can change your tracking distance as well as your liftoff distance um, and you can actually change this from one millimeter all the way to three millimeters and then of course you can add a mouse mat you can either choose a um a razor you know mouse pad here which I have the Goliathus chroma but uh I usually never calibrate my mouse pads I just leave them as is and have complete um, customizability wireless power saving I have this set to five minutes this is if you leave the mouse sitting there it's gonna turn off its light in five minutes that way to save you battery um, same thing with low power mode if the mouse is inactive Oh, nope, I'm misreading that. So it says here, once the device enters low power mode, the device's tracking speed and sensor acceleration will automatically be reduced. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, okay, I can't turn it off, but I can bring it down to 5%. I don't want the uh, the acceleration speed or the polling rate or anything to change, so I'd probably turn that down since I'm assuming how most people are going to use this after every single use. They're just going to throw it up on the charger. Let's see if we actually get a charging indication here. I'm going to put the mouse on the charger. Do we get an indication there? Perfect. You can see the little indication up there in the top right. Pull the mouse off, and it goes away. That's really nice integration there. And that is just about it um, for all the stuff you can do here. 
Um, of course, as I already said, you can change what buttons do here. But other than that, uh, the mouse does feel very, very nice. Um, just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a game, and we're going to see how it feels, and I'll be able to give you some more commentary on how I like the mouse. All right, guys, I'm now in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Going to go ahead and do a gunfight match, what I normally do on this game, and we're going to see how uh, the mouse feels. Um... Right now, in terms of ergonomics, just holding the mouse, I'm definitely going to have to get used to it. It's a little bit shallower than my SteelSeries mouse, but um, it feels great so far in terms of lag. There's, there's no latency that I can tell in any capacity. The monitor I'm using is a 1440p, 144Hz, uh, it has a 1 millisecond response time. Um, it's an LG monitor, um, LG with a, a bunch of, you know, letters and numbers after it, kind of like all their monitors. <laughs> so, um, once we hop into a game here, I'll go ahead and give, uh, some commentary on how this mouse feels. Alright, we're spawning in here. If you're watching this for incredible gameplay, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that is not what you will receive. I am not good at this game <laughs> in any way, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a test here. It feels... It feels really good. It feels just like my other mouse in terms of latency and lag. There's no, no other, uh, no, no discernible latency or lag. It feels great in terms of doing quick stuff. No weird sensor glitches. I'm probably gonna get absolutely destroyed. Yep, there it goes. There's the, <laughs> the first death. Well, here he is, casually dismantling us. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, this mouse isn't going to make you a better gamer or anything like that. But, uh, so far it feels great. Okay, I got one guy. Good job, me. No, why'd I melee? Oh, I did not mean to melee. I tried to shoot. <laughs> I have the two side buttons on the mouse. One is set to melee, um, for just really quick. And when I tried to prone, which is the other button on the mouse, uh, one of the side buttons is set to prone, the other one's set to melee, because I'm weird. I hit <laughs> I hit them both at the same time. I have muscle memory built up for my other mouse, so it's a little bit strange. Let me see here. Just toss that over that way. The scroll wheel actually feels really nice. It's very it has a lot of notches. Come on, I gotta get somebody. Okay, my dude cleaned up for me. The scroll wheel actually is very Nice clicks. Very, uh, very tactile. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, feels really good in terms of scrolling. He is still over there. Okay, I did something. Good job, me. I did it. Got one, dude. Okay, well, as it turns out, when their backs are turned to you, um, you can get kills, which is great. <laughs> I don't know how I snuck past those two guys, but it happened. Let's see if we can get a grenade kill to wrap it up. I hit him! I hit him with it! With something, at least. Oh, they left. That's great! <laughs> we made them leave. They're so mad they left. How oh, beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Okay, and that's about it for this review of the Razer Viper Ultimate. Um, definitely a positive review so far. If I have any issues with it down the road, I will be sure to make a video talking about it if I have the same sensor issues I had with my first Razer Viper. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to like it and all that cool stuff, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.